Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. Everybody in their kitchen cooking. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> but I might be cooking a little bit later. You know, I like to cook in the middle of the night type of thing. Hello, hello, everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a little late, but we're at the house of prayer. How's everybody doing tonight? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but we are thankful every single day, aren't we? We're just thankful every day because God is good every day. He is greater every day. Whoa, I tell you, he's greater every day. We love the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love the Lord. Oh, God, we love you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, Father, we love you, Jesus. Whoa, Whoa, we love you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Well, I'm not going to be with you long because I don't have a whole lot of juice on my phone. I didn't realize I didn't bring my charger. And we have been at the house of prayer all day. It will soon be 12, uh, 12 hours. And we're just very thankful. We do 12 hours of house of prayer in Intercession City, Intercession City House of Prayer, every Wednesday. Amen. It's Arabella and Wesley Weaver with Rise Up One United Voice. And we just are very, very thankful and very great, very grateful that God has given us the opportunity to serve in his kingdom. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. And so we just, yeah, my shirt says Intercession City Lives Again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. We just bless the Lord today. God, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We bless your name. We glorify you. We lift you up above all else and give you all the glory and all the praises, Father. It is you and you alone. There is no other God. There is no other God, y'all. There is no other God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there's some that's spending time with their family right now. And, you know, um, and um, many pe people, they have uh, a dinner on Thanksgiving Eve, and then they have a bigger dinner on, on Thanksgiving. And, you know, and I just think it's just so wonderful. And it's so the heart of God to plan family time. Amen. To plan family family time and to come together with your family. God is a God of family. He is absolutely a God of family. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He is a God of family. And we just love the Lord tonight. We glorify you, Father. We worship you. We lift you up above all else. We give you all the glory and all the praises for you are God. You are God. You know, we just lift him up. I, you know, I like to come before the Lord and lift him up with his name um, because his name gets his attention. It's just like when we, when, um, just like when we call our children name or when our children call our name, they get our attention. When we call Y'all forgive me. I'm sorry. I did something there. <laughs> it might have been a little bit of a blip. But when we call on the name of the Lord, we get his attention. You know, we get God's attention when we call on his name. And when we call on his name from, oh my goodness, just from the depths of our heart. Woo! When we recognize who he is from the depths of our heart and call upon him, from the depths of our heart. Oh, my, 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 my. My, 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 my. We get his attention. Hello, I believe that's hope. Oh my goodness, hope I need to talk with you. <laughs> amen, amen. I do, I need to talk with you as soon as possible. 
We just thank the Lord. God, I just love you. I praise you. I worship you. I thank you. You know, I was going to share on uh, another word, but I think I'm going to save it for another day. And I believe a time of thanksgiving is a time to testify to the goodness of God. Amen. That's just what's stirring and coming up in my spirit right now. That is a time to testify of who God is and what he's done and what he's doing for all of us. Hallelujah. Um, oh, that's Drene. Okay. Drene, we need to talk to. Amen. Amen. We need to talk to. I want to make an announcement here before we get started because I'm going to go into prayer and just give a testimony of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I want to announce that next uh, weekend, December 1st, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, we will be in Intercession City. We are in Intercession City anyway, but <laughs> on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, you may have seen a flyer, hello Donna, where we will be um, having our last gathering um, as a, unless God tell me something different, we're having our last gathering for this year, December the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and uh, um, it ha it is um as one, Moravian Missions, where we have been preparing since uh, April, since May, since April. <laughs> we have been preparing and, and training and what have you um, on uh, the As One Moravian Mission. Of Starting in January, we will be traveling all of Florida, wherever the Lord opened the door and leads us and uh, what have you, instructs us to go. And where we, wherever we're invited, that makes a tremendous difference. Amen. But we'll be going in, it's 12 of us, um, but many more will be joining us, of course. But we'll be going into different regions and we will be um, having 24 hours of worship and um, intercession and uh, releasing, imparting the wells, spiritual wells of revival in that region. And then in praying for those intercessors in that region, we want to lay hands on you. We want to pray for you. We have listened. We have been in the trenches. We went, the Lord took us to Moravian Falls in May. And we have been in the trenches since we came back. God has been preparing our hearts. He's been molding and making. He's been revealing, exposing. He's been cleansing and changing. He's just been really positioning our hearts to carry the character of Christ. You know, because it is the character of Christ. It is the position of man's heart. Amen. It's the character of Christ. It's the position of man's heart that carries revival that sustains revival in a region and the lord has said position your heart intercessors to intercede his will his will in florida not ours not what we think not what we want not our expectations but only his will and you know the moravians had a had uh they had they were known for um, they were known for twelve characteristics that they carried and lived. They carried and lived that sustained revival because they had over they had over a hundred years of twenty four seven prayer prayer revival for over a hundred years. You know it's hard to it's hard to get people to come and pray for 12 hours. It's hard to get them to come pray for two hours. Help us, Lord Jesus. You know, but I, we were doing 21 days of prayer, uh, 21 days of prayer and prophetic revelation. Um, just maybe two or three weeks ago, we finished it. And I'm going to tell you, it, it was maybe the one day within that 21 days, the word of the Lord came forth. And very powerfully said, four hours for manifested breakthrough. Four hours of praying in the spirit for manifested breakthrough. You know, I, I said it as the Lord gave it to me, but I don't know how many did it, right? And it was a battle for Wesley and I. 
to press into that. But we did it. And God is so good. Whoa! There you are, Hope. <laughs> Amen, my sister. Hope, I need to talk with you as soon as possible. Hope, I need to talk with you. I just said that to somebody else, to Drenae. And so you must have heard me. <laughs> you did it, Hope. Amen. Amen. To four hours for manifested breakthrough. That's what God said. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. As God ever so good. Yes, he is. We believe. I tell you what. We have had manifested breakthrough from that 21 days. Woo! You know, I just believe to share a testimony tonight, but I want to exalt the Lord. You know, I got to do that. Father God, Jehovah God, you are Jehovah. You are God. You are the all existent one. There is no other. Father, we call upon you. Whoa, Jehovah, Jehovah. My righteousness, my sanctifier, my peace, my shepherd. Oh, Jehovah, we love you tonight. We love you, oh, we love you, we love you. We love you because you first loved us. We glorify you because, my God, you are greater. Woo! And we thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. We give you glory. My Jehovah, Jehovah in me. Hallelujah. Peace in me. Glory to God. Righteousness in me. My God, I thank you. All your love in me, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, Jehovah, Jehovah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that you are Jehovah Rapha. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're Jehovah Nisi. Whoa. And do you know that all that he is, his name is, is who he is in us? What? Yes, in Jesus' name. It is who he is in us. Believe it now. Believe it, believe it, believe it. You got to believe it. If you don't believe it, you, you won't receive it. Amen. If you don't believe it, you won't receive it. Can everybody hear me okay? Is there is there an interruption or anything going on with my, my phone? I just want to make sure. But I want to glorify the Lord tonight. And I'm, I'm really not. I've got 15% left. So y'all know I ain't going to be. <laughs> but I'm going to talk fast, amen, because I'm going to glorify God. I'll never leave my charger in some kind of way. But anyway, praise God. You know, that 21 days brought forth the 20th day, Michael showed up. And oh my God, I mean, that week, it was a Saturday and a Thursday. I mean, it was a Wednesday and a Thursday. Bam, 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 bam. It was just one mess blessing, one, another blessing, another blessing, another blessing. This door open, this door open, this manifestation, this one. I mean, honestly. And, you know, we were, Wesley and I were looking at the word together um, the other night, and we were looking at in, in Matthew 17. Matthew 17 is where Jesus takes Peter, John, and James to the Mount of Figuration, Transfiguration. But if you read on down in there, it's also scripturally where... Um, um, after Peter, after Jesus, and, and, and after they come off of the mountain, right? A, a man comes up to him who has a son that is demon possessed or a, 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 epilepsy. Hey, Wendy. Comes up, he, 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 he's experiencing epilepsy. They went to the disciples, and the, the, the disciples couldn't cast it out. So they go back. I'm trying to, because you're probably getting something interruptions because I keep getting these notifications. But they go back, uh, the man goes to Jesus and he said, you know, he asked Jesus to um, um, 
so, so it's in the 16, 17, Matthew 17, 16. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithful, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. The disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast out the demon? So Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, for assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. And you know, I, 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 I say prayer and fasting in obedience. <laughs> and, and you know, to actually pray and, and to do the pray and the fast appropriately, you're walking in obedience anyway. But do you hear what that said? Come out, move, you can speak to the mountain. And you know, as the Lord began to give me give me, I'm trying to as the Lord began to give me continue, I, when I read that, I said, speak to the mountain and tell it to go here and, and, and from here to there and it will move. What? But then he says it comes out through prayer and fasting. We finish, we can't, we, and you know what my fasting was? And see, some may not agree with this, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay not to agree with, with sister. It's also so all right. But my fasting was getting up in the morning and being on Facebook Live at 6, 6 a.m. Looking like this, all beautiful. <laughs> I am serious. It was a push because you know I had that nighttime thing, that all overnight thing. So for me to be up and going and alive and you know alert was an absolute push for me. And, and to do it consistently every single day, it was a push. But that was the push. Told me that I had to do. That, that was my fast. And I'm telling you, God brought forth a powerful word every single day, every single day. I came on and he brought forth deliverance. He brought forth a powerful word every single day. And I want you all to hear this word. There are some that come out by praying and fasting. And, but I, I'm here to testify to you that we had some breakthrough like we've never had before. Listen, it was during that time that the tent went up. The tent was, we got permission for the tent to go up. We hadn't got permission for the tent to go up for two years. We had been asking, but we hadn't got permission for two years. We got uh, a breakthrough with, with uh, uh, looking at some property, acquiring some property in Intercession City. Breakthrough. Huge breakthrough. Humongous. <laughs> Humongous. We had been trying to buy property in Intercession City that was on sale and people was telling us they, we couldn't buy it. How'd that work? Breakthrough. I, I'm just testifying i'm testifying i might be a little excited because i just get excited about the things of god but i'm trying to tell you and what i'm saying to you is that this is thanksgiving let's thank the lord and give him glory for what he has done Woo! glory to god hallelujah hallelujah i'm telling you uh um we we, we just have seen it, and my the, my sister that li that stays with us, that's staying with us, she has got two or three job offers where she, she can pick out the one she wants. 
praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, honey. Amen. That's overflowing. We are giving God the glory and we're thanking him this Thanksgiving weekend, this Thanksgiving Eve, Thanksgiving tomorrow. And we've had such an abundance. You know, uh, two weeks ago, not two weeks weeks ago, a week and a half ago, what have you, uh, uh, um, I served, we cooked and served the community uh, here in Intercession City at Thanksgiving dinner. It was Saturday a week ago. And I tell you what, I'm just telling you, folks just came out, we had enough for the congregation, it was 10 big old platters, and you know, I cooked all that, and it didn't bother me. I was like, well, thank you, Jesus. And, and so much of it was provided. So much of it was already provided because people just give us. <laughs> it's the truth. People just get, I'm talking about give us food. We got a whole box of meat today. That was, we, we didn't come to, to get, somebody was just come and gave it to us. But we we fixed dinner on Thursday night for the community. We got a whole, whole box of rice and beans and spaghetti and oh, uh, I mean, we just you know it's always enough. God is faithful when you are faithful to Him. You know, the Lord showed me in Scripture, and I I'm, I don't I'm, I gotta hurry up because my juice running out. But <laughs> my phone. But the Lord showed me. In the word of God, how even the pursuit and a, a hunger and a thirst and positioning yourself to be a laborer in the in the harvest field brings forth abundance. Because you're in obedience, you're doing what God, what you're doing, you're going after that that is truly God's heart. And that is for man to be reconciled back to him. That is for man, for man to be saved. That's truly God's part. That truly our God's heart is for us to spend eternity with them. Amen. Everything. What what was it? What was the reason he sent his son? Did he send his son to heal us? Was that the true reason? The true reason is for us to be once again aligned with him, one with him, reconciled with him. Amen. And I just I just want to encourage you. So as you go forth in this holiday season and Thanksgiving for tomorrow and, you know, the rest of this weekend, just allow the joy of the Lord to come forth through you. Just remember and keep upon your mind and in your spirit Thanksgiving, you know, not necessarily as the world will, would celebrate it, but how we would celebrate it as the people of God to be thankful. Tell testimonies. Tell what God has done. Tell what he is doing hallelujah hallelujah god is so good he is so good i want to challenge you that you would you know when you meet with your family on tomorrow for those that may be meeting with your family or what have you just when you get ready to have that dinner just have everybody to go around just go around the table and have everybody just say something Give God thanks for something that God has done in their life this year because he's done a whole lot. He, he does a whole lot every day. We just don't give attention to it. And we don't tell it. You know, the Lord told me once, and that's why I ended up putting together a, compila a compilation of uh, testimonies from intercessors. He said to me, he says, my people allow the enemy to steal my glory because they don't testify to what I do for them. Oh my God. And that's when I brought together, let's just start collecting testimonies and let's just get these testimonies out. We need to testify every day to God's goodness and give him thanks every single day. Do you know when God, when Jesus talks and he talks about speaking, having a, a grain Faith is a grain of mustard seed, and we can speak to the mountain. I, I believe, you know, he used that somewhat in, in, in very much so as he would often do as a parable, right? That the, he wasn't, this, what reason do we have to, to tell a mountain to move? You know, <laughs> we don't need to bother with God's creation. 
We don't need to be trying to move the earth, right? But he was using that as an example of when you have surmountable issues and, and things in your life, things that you've been working on and you've been wanting to happen, you've been praying about for years and and you, you know, they are so big and it's so overwhelming. He said, listen, where's your faith? Put your faith in God. Not a shadow of doubt. If there's just a little bit, then that little bit is that grain of that is that grain of mustard seed of doubt, of doubt, of unbelief. And you can't speak. Speak to that mountain there. But you got to have that little bit, that grain of mustard seed, a faith, and then you can speak to that mountain. Woo! And it will go. Amen. Hallelujah. I put my faith in God. I don't put my faith in my job. I don't put my faith in man. No. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Put my faith in the word. Amen. And then all I, I can speak to things and it will happen. I can think something and Father will answer it. I can say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you for this and that. And he answers. He does it. Because I believe. Because I believe. Because I believe. He answers. You know, and you know, he answers those things that we need to understand that is according to his word and according to his will. Now, we can be asking for a whole lot and, and believe it for a whole lot and not get an answer because it's not his word and it's not his will. I'll put that on God and say he ain't answering. Oh, yeah, he is. You just need to line up with the words. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He said, I'll meet all your needs according to my riches in Christ. In Christ Jesus. Amen. So if you pray according to your need. But then he said he's the God of, he's El Shaddai. He's the God of more than enough. Why do you want the more than enough? Do you want the more than enough to just build your extra barns? Or do you want the more than enough to build the kingdom of God? Amen. He will answer supply. Amen. We don't, we don't want the more than enough. We don't, you know, they give us food and this, this, and that. I don't take it to hoard up in my own house. But I take it and and I say, okay, we're going to serve this. Well, I'm going to cook, and we're going to give this out, and we're going to cook. And then, oh, and I can make a meal out of this, and I can make a meal. That's what. <laughs> and they eat good because I get in the kitchen, and I cook long. It don't take too long, but I cook and put together. And I just it just blesses me. And they are so grateful and so thankful. And they keep, and then we, we get in a circle, and we hold hands, and we pray. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Jesus talks about going after the hundred, honey. Mm -hmm. Because the 99 already knows. So we, we can prepare and we can do and do and do. And there's nothing wrong with doing for the body of Christ. Absolutely. But what about that hundred? The hundred is the one out there, the, the homeless. The hundred is the drug addict. This is so bound. They just don't know how even to get free. If they would come to Christ, we tell them that. But then where do they go after that? What do they do then? Do we give them that answer? You see, the prostitute is not the life she wants to have. Said, he said, that's, that's my hundred, Arabella. Wesley. That's the word of the Lord he just gave me. That's my hundred. The 99 already know me. 
But it's the lost sheep. That's the hundred. Woo! Because see, about three weeks ago, we were leaving from feeding, serving dinner on a Thursday night. And he said to me, Arabella, this is my church. This is your church, Arabella. Whoa. And I love him. And I said, Father, help me. I ask you in the name of Jesus, help us to provide a halfway house or something or something so they don't have to go back to the drug house. They don't have to go back to, they don't have to go back. Give us the means of an option that we can make available to them. Because their heart is ready. It is right. We hold hands and love on them and they cry. That God has heard and he knows. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. See, we, we've not always, you know, it was step by step. God gave me a love for his city. And he showed me his city. And he said, my city is a city of life. That's my original plan, Arabella, is life. And then he had to show me his creation. And how his creation needs to be free. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, it's in the making and it's on its way. And I thank, thank you, Father. You know, where, where some may be celebrating one way or the other, and there may be many celebrating the wrong way, let us make sure to give God thanks and glorify him for who he is and for what he's doing. Amen. Wesley, on December the 1st, will be sharing right here at the House of Prayer. He will be sharing on the 12 Inner Wells of Revival. And on Friday, December the 2nd, we will be receiving commissioning to go forth and travel all of Florida. Um, travel all of Florida for um, to share and impart the spiritual wells of revival, the inner wells of revival throughout Florida. Because revival is coming. Awakening is coming. But we want it sustained. Amen. And it is the heart of God. It is the heart of God. It is the posture of your heart that sustains revival, that carries longevity. Even in our personal life, it is the posture of our heart that carries longevity. Amen. And so, and then on um, Saturday, we'll be closing out. But Dr. Big Pond will be here on Friday evenings, December the 2nd. Um, he's your big pawn. He's apostle to First Nation or the United States and everywhere. Uh, and then my spiritual mom, Simone Noel, she is spiritual daughter of Norval Hayes for over 45 years and has ministry of healing and deliverance for 45 years. And, and um, we wanted Donna Ringley to be here with us, but she was not able to at this time. But she prayed over us and released the anointing to open portals. And we just believe God is working in the midst of it and doing it right now. Amen. Well, I love you, love you, love you. Blessings, blessings. Hey, we are always here. Please reach out to us. You can always inbox us. You can always look at our Facebook page, inbox. You can always go to my website, find out what we're doing at Intercessions. No, <laughs> That's Wesley's book. We're at riseuponeunitedvoice.org, riseuponeunitedvoice.org. And um, you can always email us at um, oneunitedvoicefl at gmail.com. Well, God bless you. We love you. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Testimony Day. Amen. Happy Testimony Day. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. God bless you. We love you.